Let's move on to the second topic. Bodegas. Are you guys familiar with what a bodega is? Mm -hmm. Bodega, Explain, in case you don't know, bodega is, a, is an East Coast term for a corner store, usually having a food, toiletries, um, sometimes liquor, um, party favors. In Flint, is, we don't call it, Flint, Michigan, we don't call it a bodega, we call it a party store, but you can buy individual cups and ice, too, if you need to get the party started early. So, <laughs> wow, uh, that's how convenient. That's right. In, in Flint, Michigan. In Flint, Michigan. <laughs> yeah. So, bodega is basically a, a one-stop shop for all. But now, two ex-Googlers uh, started a startup company called Bodega, and they've been under fire on social media for apparently or supposedly trying to gentrify the meaning and the idea of bodega. So they have these vending machines and they're, they're app based where they're planning to put them in dorms, apartment mm. complexes, mm -hmm. places where stores aren't necessarily available. Right. But they're using the concept, the idea and the name, the name. Yeah. bodega. Yeah. So a lot of people <laughs> are upset because now with gentrification in neighborhoods like mm -hmm. Brooklyn and Harlem and, and Washington DC, bodegas are being wiped out. Mm -hmm. But now you have two Googlers coming in and saying, hey, we're going to make a, an app-based bodega and it's going to be great. Right. And I think part of the argument that they're against this is that usually they're owned by people you know. Yeah. Mom if and it, pops. That's your, yeah, exactly. That's your corner store. You get, you get to know them. They know you. It's just part of the community. And they usually live in the neighborhood. So it's also a, a meeting spot. There's, you know, I'm sure if you had something for sale, you could ask them, put, a, put it up on the window. But if you go to this a faceless <laughs> endeavor there that's just designed to make money. It right. doesn't really add that much. They would argue it adds convenience and things like that. But you're also losing something as well. It, I think people are nostalgic, and I think we all like that mom and pop. Mm -hmm. However, mm -hmm. if you have a problem with the pop-up at base bodega store don't mm -hmm. shop there mm -hmm. you know go out and patronize your mom and pops even more so than before mm -hmm. it's it's free enterprise mm -hmm. you know if the neighborhood doesn't like this new concept please don't shop there mm -hmm. but if you do and you can't you can't then later go back and sh shut it down a successful pop-up bodega by mm -hmm. saying you know what I know you guys are doing really well and everybody shops here now but you know, we're kind of losing that mom and pop thing. I mean, I don't know that you can do that. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Right. Don't patronize it if you don't like it. Yeah, and so the, the owners or the creators, CEO and co-founder Paul McDonald wrote on social media a couple of comments. First, it was, he said, far beyond what we ever imagined in regards to the backlash. <laughs> then he said, we apologize to anyone we offended. We intended only admiration. And he goes on to say, challenging the urban corner store is not and has never been our goal. They offer an integral human connection to our patrons and that uh, automated storefronts never will. So after everything kind of hit the fan, he mm -hmm. came out. But again, now what? does oh. this speak to, because I was watching, seeing this on Twitter um, the, the other day, does it speak to the overall issue with gentrification and people auto automatically feeling like they're being pushed out on all sides? Mm -hmm. yeah. Because especially in places like Brooklyn, yeah. before Brooklyn, mm -hmm. you had the, before the Barclays Center, it mm -hmm. was your mom and pop. Now if you mm -hmm. go downtown Brooklyn, it looks like downtown New York City. City. Yes, mm -hmm. that, I think that that's part of it. People feel no matter, this is just another thing. Mm -hmm. It's another thing that we used to have in America that we don't anymore. And, you know, it, it's a, a long line of people who are, you know, 65 plus or whatever starting to be pushed out. And this is just another example of mm -hmm. it, which, you know, makes sense. You know, you miss the old, and it's kind of going on a little bit in, mm -hmm. in Sacramento in the Oak Park neighborhood. Mm which is being gentrified heavily mm -hmm. and it more and more upscale. I mean, you can't even afford to buy a home in, mm -hmm. in many of these areas mm -hmm. of Oak Park now, but that's part of it. You know, the little mom and pop uh, soul food place maybe isn't there anymore mm -hmm. because there's a, a Starbucks. Right. And that's going on. It right. is going on. And, but people, I mean, people love that stuff. Mm -hmm. Honestly, you, you look at these stores, they're there for a reason. They've done their research. Here's the income. This is what they like to buy. This is what they'll spend their money on. And then they show up, and they almost always do well. It's uh, th there's a lot of money behind these businesses, yeah. and and they're there, and they usually do succeed. Yeah. And the, you know, we want these things, uh, but people are on Amazon all the time. You make a Pe good. This is an excellent will, instead point. Instead of driving ten minutes, yeah, to go to the store. If it takes five minutes to order and you can get yeah. those diapers a little bit later, they're going to do that because yeah. it's just convenient. It is convenient. And people, there's, there's a difference. There's a huge gap between people yeah. hope would happen and when it comes down to the bottom line of saving time and money, people will always choose that. I so will, I, I agree. That's going to do well. I think in 10 years, 
you're going to have two businesses left in America. <laughs> you're going to have Amazon, uh -huh. and you're going to have Starbucks. Oh, wow. And Starbucks you'll get now? all of your food and all of your clothes <laughs> and everything will be done online. Uh -huh. And who knows what will happen to the brick and mortars. Uh -huh. And then you're going to have Starbucks. Uh, because they seem to have figured out how to continually expand, expand. I mean, literally, there's a Starbucks mm -hmm. on every corner, and people mm -hmm. will always want coffee. But, so, but however, though, <coughs> yes, we always want coffee, but because there's so many Starbucks, and there's mm -hmm. so, like, you can't, you can't drive a mile without seeing two Starbucks, mm -hmm. if right. you're in an area that's right. kind of populated. But coffee, something always comes behind it. There's mm -hmm. always something next. Because before Starbucks, people were drinking Folgers, and we weren't really tripping. We were like, mm, I'm just yeah. going to get this Taster's, Taster's Choice. What was yeah. it with the, yeah. the Kramer? I'll get this yeah. Taster's yeah. Choice, yeah, and yeah. I'm fine with it. So with Starbucks, I wouldn't be surprised if something's coming on the back end or if there's going to be an Amazon coffee. Because I agree with Wall in regards to Amazon. Mm -hmm. I think they're going to take over. The, but here, okay, so I, I believe that. I, we see that. We know that. Here's something interesting. There's still gigantic new shopping centers, brick and mortar whole centers going up today. Uh, in my neighborhood, in the pocket neighborhood, this is South Sacramento, whole new, whole new things going up. They've got an in and out there. They've got a Dick's Sporting Goods. I'm not calling out <laughs> individual businesses, okay. but right. this, there's a new Walmart going in there. Sierra College, whole brand new development there that's recently uh, been built. They've got a big Bass Pro Shop. They've got your, your Walmart. You've got all sorts of stuff. You're seen in communities all over the place. Yes, there's Amazon, there's all these things, but there's a lot of big money mm -hmm. going into brand new right. developments. So maybe they know something that True. we don't know. Yeah. Um, I don't, I honestly still, we still go to Target, we still go to these things because there's just something about, sometimes you just need it now. And, um, and sometimes it's just wandering through the aisles. Yeah. There's something about that too. So I think over time, probably you're right, but th there's still a lot of money in these big, huge shopping centers, and they must know something that we don't the, know. The shopping centers have to be designed going forward that are maybe Amazon proof. Mm -hmm. You know, sure, you know, there are a lot of brick and mortar stores that are going under, mm -hmm. but let's do shopping centers that aren't, that can compete with, mm -hmm. and you need to go to right. that you can't do online. And I think that, you, I think point, you made a, it though? you made a you good know? point. When I order sporting goods, I mean, I like to go down and look at the baseball mm -hmm. glove to see how it fits. Right. The bat, I've got to feel the bat. Mm -hmm. it, I, I can't do that online. Right. So maybe these places like Dick's are places where you really have to go to the store mm -hmm. and you can't do it online. There's a yeah. furniture store. You want to sit on that bed. Yeah. You want to sit on that couch and figure that out. Um, there's a pet smart going in there. <laughs> we love our pets. Yeah, you can't get a pet online. Yeah, what if Toby well, doesn't like gotta, this yeah, bone? Yeah. He yeah. wants this bone and yeah. this squeaker. You know, you can bring your so, pet in there. So yeah, you're right. Maybe points. it's just those ones. So yeah. a couple comments. Cassandra Luther, I'll order online just to not have to deal with the rude customer service. That's mm -hmm. a, that's a big complaint for some, somebody. Mm -hmm. Carlos Reina says he used to drink Sanka. What is Sanka? <laughs> oh, right? Sanka is Sanka like Folgers. That's like Folgers. Yeah, it's an instant, the granular instant. Yeah. And then Anise Banks Walt, I will miss human interaction if that happens, which mm -hmm. is the thing. So so on a funner note, fun. <laughs> Much funner. No funner. If you guys did not have bodegas where you grew up, what did you call a bodega type of store? So we would call it the, the corner store or a party store. Corner store. Corner store. Corner store. Mm -hmm. And you grew up East Coast. I did. Yeah. See, I grew up. It was a shopping center. The shop because I grew shopping up in the center. <laughs> you didn't have the little mom and pop that no. was owned by the family. You didn't have any no. of those? No. And the family lived upstairs. Yes. Yeah. And here, here's a big thing. And I don't want to lose people, but there is a big thing too. In in your older neighborhoods you mixed commercial and residential all the time. So they had that, but then at some point, for some cities, they decided people live here, people shop over here, and zoning is a huge issue. I personally would love to see that mixing again so there wasn't all this driving and parking and all this, because if you could go to the corner, I would have loved that growing up. Mm. Uh, all we had was the ice cream man every once in a while that came to you, uh, but any shopping, involved getting in the car, driving yeah. down, oh, wow. parking, yeah. doing all that, driving back. So zoning, I think, is one, if you want that feeling, if you want that moment, zoning. It sounds super boring, but it's really important. Mm, okay. Hey, let us know what you call <laughs> the, the party store or the corner store or the bodega. We had Mike's. Mike's was a big party store back in the day. And again, you could get solo cups and ice <laughs> just so you could yeah, that's, get, I, I, get yeah, it going I ASAP. That, you know? Single cigarettes as yeah, well. Yeah. Oh, right. well. I didn't know that. I oh, know. Yeah, you, get a, you get Lucy's. Single cigarettes. Yeah, you get a, Lu you get a Lucy. A Lucy. <laughs> that's that's the single cigarette? Yeah, Lucy. Okay. Good to know. All right, shout out to Lucy's. Okay, so the next 